And still on the bulletin, the federal government says up to 154 locations as well as transportation infrastructure worth 80 billion naira have been affected by flooding across the country. The floods have also led to the displacement of persons and caused deaths. Speaking at a media briefing, the Minister of Works and Housing, Baba Tsunde Fashola, said flooding is not peculiar to Nigeria. Able to identify 154 places where transport infrastructure by way of roads and bridges have been damaged or impaired that have to be restored on an emergency basis. But the report is not complete. And this is work being done in collaboration with members of the National Assembly and our offices. The initial costs that we are looking at with those places alone, and we haven't finished, is in. Is, is in For his part, the Minister of Water Resources, Suleiman Adomo, said it would take 30 years of consistent investment to control the menace caused by floods. He also said in addition to early warning systems, there should be capital intensive initiatives to avert the consequences of flooding. In the future, what we will, there's a lot that needs to be done and, and the, the, it's, it's a really more of a long-term solution and the investment is going to be heavy and uh, already uh, this administration is working very hard to develop a master plan for the, especially for the Rivers Niger and BNW basins. But even that master plan will take at least three years to complete if it, uh, if it starts. And then the actual interventions that are required, the engineering solutions, the river training, the dikes, the, the, and, and, and uh, the, the, the levees and what have you, we need a consistent investment and a continuous commitment by successive governments over the next 20, 30 years uh, for us to be able to achieve that. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.